Days of rain brought severe flooding to several neighborhoods in Glen County. Action News Now reporter Shade Pullen is live near Glenwood Lane and Laston Street in Willows. So Shade, we saw some incredible photos from yesterday. Are cars still stuck in that high water? Uh, yes, Haley. So I talked to the Willows Fire Department and they said that no cars as of right now, as of today, are stuck in any high water. But yesterday there was a few causing significant damage to those vehicles due to them being caught in the crossfire of all the flooding. Now take a look at this. The water was so high that people were stuck inside their homes, but it was too late for a lot of cars, as you can see here. The water did not go away on its own, though. The Willows Fire Department came out to drain the water, pumping it through their engines onto the local canals. Neighbors on this specific block of Glenwood and Lassen Street tell me it hasn't been bad with flooding in decades. Uh, two times I had 12 inches of water through the whole house, and then a couple other times I had a couple inches through the water house. So it's flooded four times, but it hasn't flooded since 98. So, and this time I didn't get any water in the house. I checked it. The Wills, Wills Fire Department says they have sandbags ready to go for anyone to grab, and they will be on call if the rain brings any more issues. They don't expect any more problems, no, though, now that the gutters in the city are now cleared out. The Willows Fire Department told me that the reason for the significant flooding was just the amount of rain all at once. Um, reporting in Willows, I'm Shade Pullen with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Thanks, Shade. The Willows Fire Department says no vehicles were fully submerged and they're not aware of any homes that were severely damaged due to that flooding.